So hello, and here we are today, and we're going to look at the Toshiba 43L2163DB 43-inch Smart Full HD HDR LED TV. And there's a big mouthful there. So in the video, I just took away the old TV in the corner, polishing down the surface there where we're going to place the new TV. And uh, just get everything all sorted, unpack the TV from the box, as you can see there. And we'll just go through the items that you get. There's a two feet that you fix on the bottom of the TV, of course. And uh, we've got all kinds of bits and pieces, instructions. We'll need that. And a good idea to keep checking up on your instructions, of course. And we've got the controller there. And the batteries come included. There's some feet there. It's a little rubber feet for the feet. And a couple of togs that you can put on the back of the TV and attach the TV to the wall just in case you have an earthquake or you have your cat that knocks the TV under the floor or whatever. In this case, I'm not going to put those bits on my TV, so I'll take the risk. And if it falls over onto the ground, then I'll have to curse myself. Anyway, so onto the controller there, just sticking the batteries in, pretty straightforward. I think most people can manage that. So great that you get the uh, batteries included because there's nothing worse when you get something and the batteries aren't included. Such a pain in the uh, what's it. Right, so we're ready to go. Now we get the uh, bits and pieces ready. Then we'll get ready to uh, take the um, TV out of the box. Just checking up on the instructions there because we want to put the feet on and the feet are a bit strange. So just want to make sure we get them on the right way around. This TV actually comes with uh, free H Freeview HD with Freeview Play, and you get Netflix and Prime Video apps. Um, I'll put the specifications in the description below. I'm struggling with getting the TV out of the box there, as you can see. Could do with two people there, and the cat won't help me. So, like I said, I put the, 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 the specifications in the description below. Uh, what I will use on this particular TV is I look, I, I'm going to plug in a fire, an Amazon Fire Stick and we'll uh, perhaps do another video on that in another video. Um, I just prefer that because you get more apps and plus we can play arcade games. We can sort of hack the uh, the Amazon Fire Stick to put on old arcade games and all kinds of games, really. So um, obviously on this channel we've got a few uh, gaming videos also and we like a bit of gaming. So there we are, we got the feet there and just... Um, working out in my head how to stick those feet on so eventually get them the right way around and there's the rubber feet so just stick those into the uh, um, sections on the actual main feet pretty straightforward and you've got some screws there let me just there, there, there we are there's a screw there I'm just showing on the screen and just screw that straight into the bottom of the uh, TV it's pretty straightforward Phillips screwdriver job done so we turn the up TV upside down as you can see with the wrapping still on it and use the scissors just to cut that slot so we can safely attach those feet there's those two toggles I was talking about but I won't use those but of course use those if you want to be extra safe with your TV and keep it safe so obviously I'm not attaching them at my own risk so obviously you know take advice from the manufacturers if you don't want your TV broken so there's a TV ready to go in to situation we we'll just uh, connect all the leads so we just got a plug there but with this TV I've got an analog collection up uh, con collection uh, connection an analog connection to the aerial an analog aerial um, there's no satellite TV no digital TV but of course you can get your digital TV through your uh, apps and uh, fire stick or however you're going to connect that up. We've got an HD connection there in the back along with the other bits and pieces. Um, you can see the analog connection and you can't see there but I'm trying to point out there's another HDMI input on the right hand side of the main bit plus a USB 3 input socket also. So um, there we are so you've got two HDMI inputs HDMI 1.4 and uh, the, the, the sound's not very good on this TV. Uh, that's the only downfall. The picture's great. Picture's fantastic. But the sound's a bit tinny. But you've got a 3.5mm jack for external speakers. So um, we'll cover, perhaps cover that in another video as well. It's pretty straightforward. You just plug in your 3.5mm jack with the speakers of choice. And away you go. I've got um, a TV in my bedroom which I use the speakers my own speakers for and it's got great sound so yeah you can see the picture now along with 
the um, sound, and as you can hear, it's quite. T I've not altered anything towards the uh, sound, so the sound is just being picked up by the camera, so you can probably hear the tinniness of that sound. But it's acceptable, you know, you can watch a TV, picture's great, and, you know, it's fine, but most of us probably prefer a little bit of a better sound. So, the picture with the TV was from the analog connection, so we've got a digital connection here, and we've got the Nintendo Switch plugged in, so you can see the, the picture there just picked up on the camera. I think it's a great picture. I had to adjust the uh, picture settings, it was a little bit too bright for the uh, camera, so I adjusted the camera settings so it picks up the uh, TV picture a bit better. But I'd say that's a great picture, in real life it looks great, no problems whatsoever. I'm very happy with this picture and I would recommend it to anybody. Let's like say the uh, specifications are all listed in the description below. hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching and over and out for now.